Howdy! Welcome to this video. If you're here, you're probably considering bleach painting or you've been bleach painting and you'd like a little bit more insight. Well, you've come to the right place. Because I, Hollis Cato, deeply feel that I have painted with bleach as much or more than everybody. <laughs> Now, I can neither confirm nor deny this claim, but I will say I have the most voluptuous bleach painting collection that is also the most unrecognized, which is fine. I'll keep it that way for now until it's not. Number one, ventilation. Wear a mask and turn on a fan and open a window. All these things are really great. Otherwise, you will get a headache and you will dislike what you're doing and your art will kill you before you know it. Number two, brushes. Use synthetic brushes of all different shapes and kinds to paint your bleach paint. Number three, fabric. I find that 100% cotton works the best. And I would like to say 100% dark colored cotton, but I've had weird success with light browns. Silky men's dress shirts kind of bleed and, and give you a more watercolor experience, so keep that in mind. Tighter knit, more rugged linen cottons really hold the lines and the shapes well, so if you're looking for precision like scales, that's a great kind of material to use. When it comes to synthetic fabrics, most of the time they don't really die, so really check the tag when you're thrifting for your fabric to see what it's made of because even with there's 25% polyester in there, it affects its ability to bleach. Now that you have your materials mostly ready, what do you draw? Number four, inspiration. Surround yourself with inspiring things like tarot cards or landscape photos or wear your hair in a bird's nest. That tends to attract a lot of creativity. When I see things I like and I keep putting them around me, it inspires my work so much. So I guess just pay attention to the things you like in life and then keep multiplying them. I guess that's the art of happiness on some level. Inspiration is all around me. I find inspiration in everything I see. You keep saying that, I feel like you'll really never run into a creative drought, but that's just my opinion. Now that you are excited to sketch whatever you're sketching, grab a piece of soap. An old little piece of soap will do. I find that chalk pencils and all the other things that you might want to use are not my favorite. Soap to get the general shape is the best and it washes right out. Number six, dilutions. Switch up the dilutions of your bleach. I personally keep a 100%. I keep a 30 to 50%. It's always changing, I'm not very exact. And then I keep water. With each brush stroke, I can switch it up. Maybe I'll dip it in the 100 and then the 30 to 50% and then that makes, if you start with 100%, 13 times five, up like 60% bleach, oh my gosh. You're kind of like a chef in the bleach kitchen. And when you do this, you can create so many more colors and so many more dimensions. Not every fabric's the same. Some just really goes from one color to another, but other fabrics have this whole world. And if you just paint it with 100% bleach, you might hit just one color, but when you mix it up, you'll get rich purples or reds or oranges or whatever color comes through. You never know. That's my favorite thing about bleach painting is I never know what color is going to come through. Which reminds me of number seven. Think of it as watercolor. If you've ever painted with watercolor, you know that using a teeny bit of water to get the paint going will really give you straight, almost contained, just almost acrylic-like lines. But then if you wet the page and then you add in the color, it's gonna disper disperse and spread. And that's exactly how the bleach works. If I painted a square all with 50% solution and then while it's still wet I go in with my 100% it'll disperse and give an interesting look of shading whereas if I drew the square with 100% and then filled it in you'd get a thick border because it once you do the 100% it really just sets in I like to switch it up sometimes I'll make the outline and then I'll fill it in sometimes when I don't know what I'm doing I will begin with a lighter intensity of 
bleach and then begin to carve it out. That way it takes a little longer because if you want to get a clean line with 100% bleach, the fabric has to be dry. If it's wet, it'll be blurry. Number eight, brush strokes. Use different brushes to create strokes and also the flicking of the wrist yields nice little polka dots. When you switch up and use a big combination of brush strokes, I feel like it's so much better. My favorite thing to paint with bleach is fur because it's just all these little brush strokes with either a big angle or a small angle to make a very furry animal. Which brings me to number nine. Seal those things by spraying it with hydrogen peroxide. I will admit, I don't do this every time or hardly any time, but I feel like I must say this as a disclaimer because hydrogen peroxide neutralizes the corrosion of bleach. And number 10, go for it. Gopher is just my creative, spiritual animal. Find an old, dark-colored garment that's mostly made of cotton or 100% cotton, which I prefer, and just go for it with bleach. I started out bleaching by scrunching up my clothes, spraying it down with bleach, and then drawing little lines to make amoebas. I think you can get really creative and abstract. You don't need to draw realism. So if you make something, tag me, because I would be very excited to see what you're up to. And just remember to go for it and stop overthinking everything. All right, that's my message to you, and I hope you have a magical, magical day. Bye.